the Navy SEAL who died in the daring rescue mission in Afghanistan. The mission successfully freed a doctor who is part of a faith-based relief group. The Price, a member of SEAL Team 6, and ABC senior foreign affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz tells us now about the decision to send in the best. Nicholas Czech was just 28 years old, but for much of the last decade, he had been a Navy SEAL, the last five years part of the elite SEAL Team 6. In Iraq, Afghanistan, wherever he was needed, Czech carried out dangerous missions, just like the one that took his life on Sunday. It was just before 3 a.m. when Czech and his team, along with Afghan commandos, loaded into helicopters and headed in the darkness to a remote mountaintop location in eastern Afghanistan. Down below, Taliban fighters were holding Dilip Joseph, a relief worker and father of four from Colorado, kidnapped, leaving a rural medical clinic just days before. The hard-charging, highly trained SEAL team moved in quickly to a group of huts where Joseph was being held. Gunfire broke out. Joseph was rescued, but the young Navy SEAL took a bullet to the head. The decision to go in so quickly was made by the top commander in Afghanistan, General John Allen, who thought Joseph was in immediate danger. The race was on because at that point they knew if they couldn't get him before he was taken over the border into, into Pakistan, that it would be almost impossible to rescue him. There have been hundreds of successful missions by the SEALs, including the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. But the missions remain unpredictable and dangerous. As Defense Secretary Leon Panetta said today, the special operators knew they were putting their lives on the line. The former hostage Dilip Joseph will likely return to the U.S. by this weekend. His family issued a statement tonight extending their deepest condolences and gratitude to all those involved in the mission. Diane. Thanks so much, Martha Raddatz.